since there is so much talk about the moon and a space race to the moon, I thought it would be interesting and very eye-opening to know about the Anunnaki history and what they know about the moon and what it is. There are a lot of people that think the moon is unreal, that it's made out of plasma, or that it is a reflection of Earth. But let me tell you this, and then you can get a clearer picture of what actually is going on with the moon. Why does the moon have the same map reflection as Earth? It can't be a mirror, because if it was a mirror, it would be an inverted image. Instead, it coincides exactly Earth map and moon map. But there's a reason for that. And I found it in the Anunnaki history. When the Anunnaki needed gold, they knew that they could find gold on Earth and in the hammered bracelet because of a history, or what we would call mythology, but for them it's their history, about the solar system. In fact, each planet is given a name of a god or a goddess. They are living sentient entities that have a history of their own before people were ever created. So story goes, there was a large planet called Tiamat in our solar system. And when Nibiru got caught in this elliptical orbit around the sun, it ends up that on another way around doing its orbit of 3,600 years, it ended up colliding with Tiamat, splitting her in two. The smaller part became the moon, and the larger part became Earth. In all Latin and Greek languages, Earth is called Terra. So it was not called Earth yet. That is a human name that they gave her. She wasn't even called Gaia, as some may think. So why did the Anunnaki know about this? And why is it validated? Because in their story, the planet Tiamat, when it broke in two, splitting in two, one became the moon, one became Earth. And look at that. Wouldn't that explain why the moon and the Earth have the same map? In the story, Tiamat, when she broke in two, had veins of gold. That is also why the hammered bracelet had gold, because they are all fragmented pieces of Tiamat. So when the Anunnaki were looking for gold, that's why they knew it was on Earth and in the hammered bracelet, because of this story. So if the story wasn't true, then Earth would not have had the veins of gold. In fact, when the Anunnaki first came down, they had planned on getting the gold from the water. After a year that they were here getting gold from the water, it was not enough. So Enki got his craft and started scanning the lands, saying, Our history of Tiamat tells us that there were these veins of gold. So he goes and scans the lands, and yes, he found that the gold was actually in the mountains, in large quantities. They already knew that there was gold in the hammer bracelet. They just couldn't get it because of the asteroids that would crash into the spaceships and destroy them. The first mission to get gold was out of the hammered bracelet, but no one survived. It was only when Alalu decided to use nuclear weapons on the hammered bracelet to get through and land on Earth that all this happened. And that story is all in the Anunnaki playlist. Okay, so Enki scans the lands, finds the gold inside the mountains. Here we are, confirming that Tiamat had the veins of gold. So if the history that they are telling was not true, they would never have known that Earth had all this gold. Now remember, these stories predate the Bible by thousands and thousands of years and are the original scriptures from where the Hebrew and Catholic and Muslim religion took their stories from. So the Sumerian history that people love to call mythology is not mythology and is the real history. Once religions came into play, it was all a huge manipulation to control humans. And they succeeded because they still control you to this day. Basically, for someone like me that does the studies that I do and the research that I do, we believe that the moon is the other side of Tiamat. Earth and the moon together made Tiamat, splitting them apart 
you have this map of the moon and the map of the earth that coincide as if they were cut in half. Moons are classified as planetoids. They are not just moons, as some may mistakenly believe so. So here we are again with the Anunnaki scriptures explaining something that everyone is debating about. What is the moon and where did it come from? And if you believe in all of the other Anunnaki history, then you should be believing this too.